Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I have another book review, and this one is the companion book to Chrysalis Tarot by Tony Brooks and Holly Sierra. If you are unfamiliar with the Chrysalis Tarot, this is a deck that I've been working with for a few months. I am by no means an expert in tarot, nor do I use tarot prolifically. It's just something that I enjoy drawing cards from occasionally or use when I'm really trying to sort out how I feel about a situation. Chrysalis Tarot is great for kind of transforming your own understanding of self and your actions in the world. It's also beautiful. The cards are really, really bright and the symbols that are used often include spirals and bears and other totem animal spirits. Uh, there's lots of Celtic imagery and it fits really well with my Druid practice. Lately I've been drawing one card every morning and that's been super enlightening. The deck of cards originally comes with this little white book. This book doesn't have tons of information, but it does have short and sweet little descriptions of each of the cards. The companion book, on the other hand, is a real paperback book. It's about 200 pages, and it has multiple parts. The first part talks about why the deck came into being and how both the artist and the author approached the creation of this what goals they had for those who are working with the deck. I found that to be incredibly illuminating and really enjoyed that aspect of the book. The second part of the book just describes the actual cards. There's an old image that one of like the original images the artist worked with for the card and a description from the artist about what symbols were important, her thought processes, anything that impacted the art of the card. Then the author on the second part describes more in depth what the card means and how it can be used in interpreting tarot or spread. There's also a additional spread on the back, which is fun, I suppose, but kind of weird that there's just one. Do you need this companion book if you want to work with the deck? Absolutely not. The deck is really easy to interpret from the symbols and tells a lot all on its own, and the little white book will probably see you through. However, if you're like me and not a tarot expert, but really enjoy working this, with this deck, or you're trying to establish a deeper connection with the deck, then I think the companion book is worth the investment. It fits nicely with the, with the cards and is a very tiny book, so it doesn't take up much space around an altar area. Descriptions are different from the little white book, not by much in meaning, but there is more meat and depth to the description of what the card can mean. In the comments below, I'd love to hear your top three tarot decks, and if you bought any like supplemental books or materials to go with that deck. I know that tarot is very popular on YouTube and on blogs, so I can't wait to hear what people end up working with or perhaps you don't even work with tarot, and then I wanna know what divination forms you do or don't use. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more book reviews and different esoteric parts of my Druid path. And as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.